this is the start of the video. I just want to make it clear. I am not Ricky Gervais. I don't think I look like Ricky Gervais. And I don't know where people are getting this Ricky Gervais from. What resemblance? Is Ricky Gervais in that? What was that programme he was in? Extras. I'm far from being an extra. This is my channel. Stay tuned and keep watching. Welcome everybody, this is Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Always at the forefront of trying paints out and it's been a long time coming. Me actually getting my hands on some Caprol, Haft Primer and some PU Gloss and I've just got down there some PU Satin as well. That'll be a future video. But today I want to be trying out the PU Gloss, the primer first, then the PU Gloss on Doris the Door and then putting it right up against Technos, the Technos Gloss. This video is coming straight after, it's the day after I've actually got the second coat of gloss on there. And I said I wanted to do a light for light comparison next to each other. Hence why Doris the Door's been taped off down the middle. I'd got me apprehensions about how the gloss level dulls down once it's been fully fully dry, like 24 hours later. That first coat of gloss over the primer undercoat dulled off. The initial first coat, while it was in a wet state, looked fantastic. You'd be, you'd be really pleased with that. But putting that first coat of gloss on, when I came back to it the next day to give a second coat of gloss, it had dulled off. I explained to you, and I'll explain with this as well, I'll explain to you, I've got a feeling that those first coats of top coat over the undercoat, which are drier, soak in. That is, that's for a reason. You'd give two coats because that second coat will then hold better on that first coat of top coat. So that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. It's a bit, I'm trying to do the, you, not the eulogy, I don't want fucking eulogy, the analogy of when you do spot priming, if you filled up over an emulsioned wall and you spot prime, then give a final coat to an emulsioned wall and you haven't spot primed, it, it soaks in, you get flashing. I think this is the same sort of principle with these water-based paints that we've got. You've got to be giving that second coat of top coat because it gives you the build up, it gives you that, that paint film that's the paint film you're wanting. That Technos was a 90 on the percentage rate of gloss levels, 90. And I have to say, the day after, that's still a pretty good gloss. And I think the camera's doing it justice with that gloss level. It's a lot better than it was when I was this time, 24 hours ago, trying to put that second coat of top coat gloss on because it's a dulled off. Now, I've spoke about that. We want to talk about this. I want to see what this is like now. I'll give a shout out to Paint Shack. Paint Shack have supplied me with this. I've had to buy it. I rang up because nobody, I was hoping somebody was going to give me a shout out and say, Phil, Phil, I'll send you a couple of sample tips. No, that's not happened. Doesn't that happen very often? So I've rang up Paint Shack because I tried to get this. I'm going on my negative moan. I tried to get this through Paintwell who supply Caprol. But one, they couldn't get these small tins and Caprol do small tins of 375 mil. They also do a 750 mil and the bigger cans. I wanted small tins because small tins are ideal if you're only doing a door. What, what do I want? Benjamin, what do I want nearly four litres of paint for to try out on a door? Litre tins, maximum litre tins or minimum, I should say. So I've had to buy these paint shack very good because it says oh phil we've got sample packs of the pu gloss pu satin which is just there and also the primer roughly about 25 quid so these are working out i think are they about eight nine pounds if that so i'm giving it a go it's about time because we've been trying these all the paints out for a playlist there playlist there I've uh, been trying the other paints out. So what I want to do, I'm not going to subject you through seeing me paint the primer on. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to paint that primer, let it dry, and then I'll give a bit of a recap on what that primer's like. Then I'll be doing today, because this is quite early morning. Well, or past nine. It's early for some. 
I want to do the primer today and then later on I want to give a coat of gloss and then come back tomorrow morning give a second coat of gloss now it does say my German's about as good as my Latin from being at school yeah flipping rubbish you know I went to private school did Latin for the first year rubbish you can't read and write let alone flipping new Latin not quite as bad thankfully chat AI chat GPT is helping me no end Right, I'm going to get some of that on. I'm going to get some of that on today, later today, and let's um, come back to it. See you later, alligator. Right, I'm back with you. I've got my paint out, got my kettle, working from one side of the kettle. Still keeping with the same brush that we use with the Technos, so we've got uniform manility. Yeah, it's just so we're giving it the fair crack at the whip. It's the Heritage um, Nor brush. I really like that. It applies this paint lovely. Smelling the bristle, sniffing the bristle. What's the saying? You've got to sniff the bristle. Right, that was fast forwarded for you. I'll just give you a quick recap on what I thought. Sniffing the bristle again. That's got more of an, an, an ammonia smell than the Technos. I've got a bit, bit more of a fruity, well, not fruity, fruity, but a bit more of a fruity smell. This is a bit more ammonia a bit stronger. Mm. Might even touch a cellulose smell to it. I'm not sure. It's a bit more potent. Right, that applied quite nicely. It felt thinner from what I remember from yesterday, day before. Felt a little bit thinner. Application-wise, went on a, a dream. There's no issue there. You can see that's laying off lovely. You're not, if you're an old... I hate the word old school. If you're an old school painter and decorator and you go on about brush marks in water-based paints, once you start getting to this top end, this better quality water-based paint you don't see brush marks it's a it's an urban myth brush marks i mean we're on a warm day we've got sun shining outside which makes a change from being in the uk that has laid off lovely i've got no it's got a little bit of a run there i've got nothing that is untowards didn't dry off on me too quick and the application is it was superb, can't fault that. Um, you did see where there was a little bit of marker pen. I had sprayed that over some blockade. I'm hoping that will cover because the blockade's only uh, a barrier to stop anything coming through. So more coats of paint over that should be fine. On the Technos, I can't really see it. Uh, I'm probably more of a case of seeing it because I know where it is, but I, I can't see anything, nothing showing. On the whole, we're good. I'll see you later on. I'll give it, I'll come back this afternoon and I'll give it a um, coat to the gloss. By the way, do you like, do you like, do you like my t-shirts? Could this be future merch? Give us some comments. I'm back. We're about five, four, five hours in from when I um, spoke to you this morning doing the um, primer coat. Now I've got the gloss out, I've tipped it out into the um, paint kettle. I'm just gonna have a whiff of that. There's a strong smell of ammonia to that. That's, if you remember, that's a proper nappy bucket smell. So I'm taking that's a quite a good acrylic. Oh, it's the ammonia. The ammonia is terrible on that. I just, um, I think that'll dry really quickly. So 
I'm going to get on with the painting now and um, let's see what it's like and then we'll review it once we've got some on. So, see you in a moment. Now, you know what I'm like, I'm going to give me first impressions of actually applying that gloss, that PU gloss. Application wise, there's no issues there. Um, the brush went on lovely. I'd probably say it feels a little bit thinner, probably slightly thinner than the Technos. Not a lot in it. If you'd have asked me a few seconds ago while I was actually applying it, I'd say that the white wasn't as good as what the finished Technos is. But you know, once it's now applied, I'm actually gonna say that gloss looks pretty white. And I don't wanna say this, but I'm actually thinking in this wet state, if that dries as glossy as what that is, that's a pretty good gloss. Now, one thing I probably didn't mention when I mentioned about the primer, a lot of people people are telling me it's, it's a good adhesion primer. So I'm hoping that the adhesion primers that are going on are gonna give us a hard wearing finish. And probably possibly in a future video, I'll keep these two on and we'll do a bit of a scratch test because they've all been painted exactly the same with their own systems but do you know what I'm actually I'm actually liking how the brush marks have flown out on that let's see what it's like a bit later back of the can it does say one or two coats I think it says one or two coats because my German is very Voicebrung Dork Technic and all I can probably is I can probably say Aldi is that German I think it is but do you know what? It's not looking bad. It's not looking bad at all. I wouldn't say the primer had brilliant opacity. It was still a bit grinny on that Otex Aqua that I'd used before. But does that matter if you're getting two more top coats on? Do you know what? I'm going to wash that brush out and I'll be back in a bit. So... Bear with me. Welcome everybody. It's the next day. Now, with water-based glosses, water-based eggshells, water-based satins, um, really any water-based product, it's always nice to give your final coat the day after that you've probably done the primer undercoat and the first top coat in the same day if you've had time if you've got the first primer coat on in the morning back end depending on how big your job is of course i don't want to speak out of line on that but even with emulsion sometimes you find that the next day coating up it's just give it that little bit longer to um, dry off um, but let's give me first review on this that's your first coat of gloss now you might not see this as good as what I'm seeing it. That, the self-leveling properties of that Caprol PU gloss, I would say you would hard, you'd be hard pushed to know whether that was an oil-based or a water-based product. Now, we're going up against the Technos 90, the Futura 90. At this moment in time, we know that's had two coats of gloss. This has only had one. That is still a very good gloss. It's still keeping that depth of gloss as well. Yes, it's water-based, we know that, but that's not dulled off like we had with the first coat of gloss that went on. 
I would say that this has dulled off slightly. Now, is it a coat of paint? Is it the coat of paint that, I would say, let me get that right. Edit it, Phil, edit it. Um, that first coat of gloss, would you get away with one coat of gloss? Quite possibly, if that's what your second coat is gonna look like. But I'd like to think that the second coat of gloss will body up, not dull off as much as that, and be on a par with this. Now, we know that's a 90% sheen level. We'll call it 90% sheen level. A lot of the other Ticarilla, Everal Aqua, 80. That's 80%. That's 90. So you can see how good that is. What is this? Please give us some comments because you probably are using this paint and know a little bit more about it than me. I'm coming in cold. I'm doing it like a layman. The other thing we're first noticing on this, that's very white. That's not as white. That's white. That's like a brilliant white. But I'm going to get my paint going. I'll start fast forward. We'll keep, got to keep these videos under 30 minutes, haven't we? Do we need to do that door edge? Nobody will see it. I'll do it anyway. Working from one side of the kettle. You know, by the time we've done these videos, you'll be an expert at working from one side of the kettle, rotating your brush round, wiping down on that same side, keeping clean. And I'll do a video sometime of burning kettles out the correct way. You obviously don't burn a kettle out if it's plastic. Let's start with that edge. Not that it matters. And while I'm just talking to you on this little bit, the application of this is very nice. It doesn't feel like a cheap water-based paint being applied. When I mean cheap, as in thin. It's not like applying, I don't know, a vinyl silk. No. So let me be, I've not nibbed it down because it's still good. I'm going to start. Remember, don't overbrush it, put plenty on because you're going to lay it off. Just put it on and lay it off. Do you know what? I have to say these paints, the Technos and this Caprol, the paints, you've got to try it because the actual, the application is spot on. You can't fault how it applies. It don't feel like you're putting a, a thin watery paint on that's got no guts to it. I'll, let's call it guts, body and guts. These are covering nice. I know we're, we're talking about three coats of paint, but I, I will allow for that in pricing jobs. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, but you're competing against other people. I'm not competing against other people because I'm doing my specification. If somebody wants to go for a cheaper price on the job, I'm, I'm talking about now domestic painting and decorating. I'm not on about, I don't know, you've probably heard of Johns and Ottingham and all the big contractors that are pricing up, I don't know, flipping train stations and everything like that where... Price is very to the line. I'm on about if I'm doing an ordinary bedroom and I know that I want a water-based eggshell satin gloss, it's going to be that that first initial grip coat primer and then two top coats. I allow for that and it's in the specification that I give. Now, if somebody else comes in with a price and it's oh, 300 pounds cheaper, example, I'll say to the customer, but are they doing the same specification? And you'll probably find it's an undercoat and gloss. That's it. Now, if the customer's happy because that's their budget, I'll go, budget, leave them to it. 
They're not the customer I want. They're not the they're not the customer you want either. You want the customers that appreciate the work that you're doing, the preparation that you're putting into it, and they they should read that specification and go. Well, they're actually putting three coats of paint on. What does three paint? I can't even say. What do three coats of paint give us? A nice build up of paint. And I know there's going to be somebody saying to me, Phil, Phil, but we can do the job quicker. Coat of acrylic and a coat of oil gloss. Yeah. All right then. I'm just... <laughs> I've lost my argument then, I'll leave you to it. It's back to this. That is go, goes on lovely. Flow out of that, you're gonna lose the brush marks, I'm happy with that. In the wet state, that is very glossy. I'm gonna wash my brush out, I'm gonna come back in a bit and I'll review what that looks like. If that stays as glossy as that, I'm happy. If it dulls off, I'm not gonna be so happy. And we're gonna talk about the Technos again then, aren't we? because that is still, we're now, when did I do that? Two days ago. We're two days on from that being the second coat of gloss. And that, I'm happy with that gloss. Let's see what this gloss is like when it's dry. Catch you later. Well, we're back. It's been a good, the time sponsored by Seconda. I'd say we're pushing about three and a half to four hours now since I gave that second coat of gloss. What do I think of it? Totally dry now. It's obviously still a bit soft. I could probably dig my nails into it, but I'm gonna be brutally honest. The flow out, very good. I'm impressed. Brush marks, they've settled. Leveling out, great. Opacity, coverage. Very good. I can't see any of the, um, no, I can't see any marker pen coming through. Gloss level. It's not a bad gloss, but it's not, I would say it's not the Technos 90 Aqua gloss level. The actual paint film surface between the two, I would say I prefer that, the Caprol PU gloss. It looks like it's a thicker coating. Whether it's, I might have applied a little bit more, I'm not sure. But comparing the two, let's have a quick, So. Do you know what? Do you know what? Now I've taken that yellow tape off. I'm thinking the colour that looks whiter than that. But with that tape on, with that tape on, I actually thought the Technos looked whiter. So probably between the two, there's not a lot of difference in the color. But saying that, God, it's like, that looks a bit yellowed compared to that being white. Whether that's because that's been done two days, I'm not sure. Okay. You see. Do you know what? There's not a lot in it. That seems to have a bit, the Technos seems to have a bit better the Technos seems to have a little bit better gloss level, but the Caprol seems to have flowed out better. Tough one, very tough. I don't know whether I can um, compare the two and give you an honest answer. 
but interestingly that does look yellower than the Capron. Right, give us some comments. What's your view? Have you used both of these? Because I, I'm borderline between whether I like one or the other. How that's flowed out, the Caprol PU gloss is beautiful. That's the nearest thing I'd say to being an oil-based paint, how it looks. The Futura Aqua 90. Doesn't seem to have the body of paint. <sighs> I'm unsure. I like them both. I think the Technos has got that little bit of an edge on the gloss, but finish wise, that PU gloss is slightly better. So the weighing up between one and the other, there's not a lot in it. I'm going to say it comes down to personal preference. And on that note, I'm going to end this video and say, if you're using these, which do you prefer? Or I should have said, if you've used these, which do you prefer? Am I right in thinking that's a better white than that? Or is that a brighter white than that? But looking at this, that is very much yellowed compared to that. And that's been done two days. But the gloss level looks better on that. But that's flowed out better. Give us some comments. I like them both. So I'm impressed. My next one I'll do is the satin stroke um, egg shelly finishes. So thanks for listening. Hope I've given you an insight into these unusual paints. See you on the next one.